this sucks. This is the part of the off season that's not fun at all. When you lose one of your favorite players, uh, a player that you had wanted your favorite football team to sign for years, and I remember years ago when the Baltimore Ravens almost did that three-way trade for Jadavian Clowney, and they almost got him, but they ended up telling the commissioner, and he rejected it. He said, no, nope, this ain't going down. I'm not approving this, and that fell through. But then last year, Last year, when it said the Ravens were interested in Jadavion Clowney, and they brought him in for a visit. I was like, oh, yeah, let's go. We heard all the rumors, heard everything that people said about him, and I was like, we can change him. We can change him. Let's do it. And they did it, man. I was so happy. I was so happy. And then he proved himself. He showed himself. He showed out with the Ravens last year. And even though he missed like 20 sacks last year, he still ended up getting nine and a half sacks. And he got the pressures. He got the tackles. He was good in run defense. Jadavion Clowney was a great player for the Baltimore Ravens last year. So I was hoping, we were all hoping that the relationship would continue. But we've been talking about this for the past couple of weeks. We did not expect that relationship to continue simply because of money, of money. And we knew that Jadavian Clowney, whether it was with the Jets, whether it might have been with the Panthers, whether it was with somebody else, we knew he could get more money elsewhere outside of Baltimore. And now it is official, Jadavian Clowney, will be signing with the Carolina Panthers. Now, what's interesting about this whole thing is that the Jets were the most recent team that courted Jadavian Clowney. They were the most recent team that was said that, 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 that they said were interested in Jadavian Clowney. And they had a great visit with him. They were ready to get him signed and stuff. But it was also said that there were still two other teams that were very highly interested in Jadavian Clowney, that being the Panthers and the Ravens. But the Panthers, they say, you know what? Let's get this thing done. And surprisingly, surprisingly, Jadavian Clowney is signing way before training camp. Mm. And let's look at the details of this deal. Uh, it's a two-year deal worth up to $24 million. But get this. The base of it is 20 mil. So he's getting most of the, most of the money. Because a lot of times you hear about these deals worth up to X amount of money. But a lot of times the X amount of money that the deal is worth up to, it's not even close to what the base of the deal is. But Jadavion Clowney, he getting at least two years, 20 mil, regardless, with a chance to make it 24 mil. So a very good deal for him. And Panthers are getting, they're getting a real good player. Now, before we get into the rest of this and what this means for the Baltimore Ravens, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. I, I know we don't like the situation, but you can run the likes up on the video. And turn the notifications on so you do not miss out a single thing. We almost at 75,000 subscribers, y'all. Almost. So let's keep pushing there. Now, with Jadavian Clowney, he is actually from South Carolina. Let's read this report from Adam Schefter. It says, uh, Jadavian Clowney is from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and now becomes the second South Point High School player to land with the Panthers following his former Stallions teammate, Stefan Gilmore. Mm. So he gets to play back home for a lot of money. So shout out to Jadavian Clowney. And again, like we also talked about before, I will never be mad at anybody for chasing the money. I will never be mad at anybody for getting their bread. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a job. This is their career. This is they they play to get paid. They don't play for free. They don't play just to make people happy. They play so they can get their money. That's what we all go to work for, right? We go to work for so we can get our bread. We may enjoy our jobs, too, and that's a, a nice perk. But you work for your money. And that's exactly what Jadavian Clowney is doing and what he did. And now he's cashing out. So shout out to him. This, the reason that this hurts even more for me, and I know for a lot of y'all, too, is because the Baltimore Ravens, they squandered such a big opportunity last year. And I hate to keep going back to last year, but we got to keep going back to last year because last year has everything to do with this. Jadavion Clowney was a nice pickup for the Baltimore Ravens last year. Kyle Vannoy, who I'm sure the Baltimore Ravens are looking at even more now. And I'm sure Kyle Vannoy is like, hey, <laughs> oh, y'all looking at me even more now, huh? Run me my money. Run me my money. Kyle Vannoy's value to the Baltimore Ravens just went up that much. With Jadavian Clowney signing with the Panthers. His value went up like crazy in my opinion. Why? Because they know what they got out of uh, Kyle Vannoy. They also know what they got out of Jadavian Clowney, but he's gone now. But with Kyle Vannoy, he could use this really against the Ravens and for his own benefit. It's business. So he could use this against the Ravens and be like, look, like, I'm still available. You want me? Like, we we can talk some money. But, yeah, that, that, that salary, it has to be 
increased. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Last year, Ravens just squandered uh, a big opportunity because the roster that they had in place last year was just amazing. The the starters, amazing. The depth, the backups, amazing. A lot of guys would miss time from here and here and here and here, and, and people would come in and fill in for them, and there would be not much, if any, drop-off at all. The Ravens would still continue to do their thing, whether it be offense, whether it be defense. We had so many times when guys would be out, and what would happen? Odell Beckham Jr., he'd be out. Jose Flowers got it. Nelson Aguilar got it. Mark Andrews went out. Oh, Isaiah Likely got it. J.K. Dobbins went out. Gus Edwards, he got it. Justice Hill, he stepped up in a big way. Keaton Mitchell, he was killing it when he was playing. They got it. On defense, Marlon Humphrey out. Oh, man, what's going to happen? Brandon Stevens got it. Ronald Darby got it. Oh, man, we lost Marcus Williams, too. Oh, this is terrible. Geno Stone. Got it. We lost David Ajabo. I know he wasn't necessarily a starter, but he let, lost Bowser too. Jadavian Clowney. <laughs> Calvin Noy. They got it. So you, you, you see what I'm saying. The Baltimore Ravens, the, the quality of the depth that they had, the quality of the start, the quality of the team that they had last year was so special. That's why so many of us, we wanted them to take max opportunity of that because – the chances with teams like that, they don't come around too often. They really don't. And the Ravens got close, but they obviously didn't get close enough. But one of the reasons why we really wanted them to win, obviously because we want our team to win the Super Bowl every year, but last year we really wanted them to win, especially because of the team that they had, and we knew that they were not going to be able to keep everybody. We knew there was going to be a lot of people on that football team that were not going to be with the Baltimore Ravens in the year 2024. And this is another one. Team is far different than they were. Last year They've lost Gus Edwards They lost Geno Stone And I know I'm going to forget somebody So remind me of anybody who I forget um, But they, they lost uh, Jadavian Clowney now They lost John Simpson They traded Morgan Moses They lost Kevin Zeitler um, and, and I know there's more as well They lost Ronald Darby too And I know there's more that I forgot uh, Patrick Queen that's, that's a big one right there but they, we knew that they were going to lose a lot of people. And not to say just because they lost all of those people. that Oh, all hope is lost for the Baltimore Ravens' chances in the 2024 season. That's not what we're saying at all. But we just wish that they would have taken full advantage uh, last season. But with Jadavian Clowney, when you think about the Baltimore Ravens, it's like, now what? Who are our edge guys going to be? Immediately, the first two names that pop in my head, uh, Adafe Away. And David Ajabo. Adafi Away is coming up on a big year uh, because this could either be his final year with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, it depends on if they pick up or decline his fifth year option. Uh, or he could be going into his second to last year with the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, well, actually, either way, um, he could still possibly get a contract this with the Baltimore Ravens. It just all depends on how stuff shakes out for him, how he performs uh, this upcoming season. But I know with Adafi Away, it's just been a lot of up and down with a dot fair way as a pass rusher. Setting the edge, he's been pretty good at that. Um, but as a pass rusher, it's been a little up and down. Uh, so we're waiting for him to really turn that corner. With David Ajabo, though, David Ajabo, I know Harbaugh talked about, oh, you expect him to have a breakout season. That would be great. I hope Harbaugh's words come to fruition. But David Ajabo just can't be relied on right now because your best ability uh, is availability. And he just, he hasn't been available. And we know his first year we get that red shirt, but the second year we was hoping, okay, hey, he's going to be back. Oh, our past rush, we're going to have David Ajabo and Adopt Fair Way together back from high school. Da, da, da. He got hurt again. So you, you, you can't count on him. You want him to be there. You hope that he's there. You want him to show out. You want him to go off. You want him to go crazy with it. But you cannot rely on David Ajabo. You hope that he does well. You hope that he shows up. You hope that he can be healthy. But you can't rely on him. So what are the Baltimore Ravens going to do now? 